Jonathan, we've seen MPs getting uh, threatened and having their offices attacked, those who didn't vote uh, for ceasefire. Green, the Green Party, beggars belief, they've posted a list of every MP that didn't vote for a ceasefire. They just posted that on X. What are they doing? Well, I don't really know the Green Party up here in Stoke-on-Trent, North Kiskevin Talk, because we don't allow these lunatics to exist up here, thank <laughs> God. But all I can say is that uh, they're more than welcome to point out the fact that, yes, I didn't vote for a ceasefire because a ceasefire requires both sides to lay down their weapons. And whilst Israel would, I suspect, comply, Hamas have made perfectly clear they'll continue, as they are doing, firing off rockets from Gaza into Israel, that they are going to repeat October 7th, that they obviously use the billions in aid that have been given over many years to build tunnels, buy weapons and give their leadership cushy lifestyles in Qatar rather than actually support the people of that great area. So the reality is that I'm not going to uh, be bullied or uh, pushed around by uh, the woke karate down in London and uh, Brighton. Jonathan, who seem to think that Jonathan are, you, for the are you worried? Are you worried about your safety and the safety of your fellow MPs? I mean, yeah, isn't this very irresponsible of the Green Party? I mean, to publish... Every, we know what's happened. Two MPs' uh, constituency officers have already been attacked, and we've heard other MPs are worried for their families. Uh, and the Green Party publishing this list of every MP that did not Despicable. vote for the ceasefire puts every MP who didn't vote for a ceasefire into serious danger. What on earth do they think they're playing at? Oh, look, I totally agree with both of you on this. Look, I have a large Pakistani Kashmiri community who are overwhelmingly wanting me to back a ceasefire. My office is based in uh, that, the heart of that community, to be frank, in the town of Tunstall. I've obviously got some of my closest friends in Parliament who are actually Muslim, uh, Muslim themselves, and I've had horrific abuse about them and their family, and I've advised them to contact the police, to have cars sat outside their homes and their families, God forbid, as well, in order to ensure their safety. So whilst I may be brazen about myself, I am absolutely worried about other colleagues across the House who are uh, getting this irresponsible death threats, disgusting and vile abuse and hatred. You know, let's be perfectly frank, whether everyone likes how Suella says everything, it was quite clear these marches are full of hate, uh, and they obviously are perpetuating that, as we've seen since uh, Suella has even left office as well as Home Secretary. So I think that... The police need to take these things very seriously. The Green Party should immediately apologise and uh, pull down any such posting because, as you say, it is, it is very dangerous to unnecessarily risk the lives of those who have put themselves forward to serve. And let's not forget that it's not always clear-cut in every community that, uh, you know, just because you've got a, a large group of minority vocal people doesn't mean that that's representative of the entire constituency that you serve. Jonathan, whilst we've got you, the Staffordshire police have been told they can't say... Uh, policemen, they can't say Christians, they can't say Muslims. Staffordshire is your neck of the woods. What do you make of that? Well, I'm glad you've let me know this because I'll be writing immediately to Chief Constable saying I want this rubbish bin because it's absolutely <laughs> absurd and embarrassing. And I'll carry on speaking to the officers on the ground when I join them on the shift as out and about as I have done a number of occasions. And I hope that they'll feel comfortable to use that terminology in my space because guess what? These words don't offend anyone apart from the uh, lunatics on Twitter, or <laughs> X, sorry. And uh, we shouldn't be having to take a knee to these kind of uh, individuals. Ultimately, those who are offended by it just need to go and find somewhere else to live, to be perfect.